case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The principle that a lawyer needs their client's express approval to settle a case was at the heart of Covington v. Continental General Tire, Inc., a 2004 case adjudicated by the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. The case spotlighted an intriguing legal quandary that posed hefty stakes for both attorneys and their clients. Emma Jean Williams, Jamie Williams, Mary Lou Covington, Richard Abrams, and Sheila Abrams found themselves in a perilous legal situation after being passengers in a car accident caused by a defective tire produced by Continental General Tire. Signing on attorney Carl Schiffman to handle their lawsuit against Continental and retailer Sears Roebuck, the plaintiffs believed they were in capable hands. Yet, Schiffman, after consultation with a tire expert, concluded the plaintiff's case against Continental was weak and decided to engage in settlement talks with Continental's counsel, Clem Trishler. The problem? The attorney, embroiled in negotiations, allegedly failed to seek his client's express consent. The turning point arrived when the plaintiffs discovered this settlement negotiation. They firmly rejected the agreement. As a countermove, Continental filed a motion to enforce the settlement. In a surprising twist, the district court granted their request, sparking an appeal by the frustrated plaintiffs. The United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit, after chewing over these complicated legal threads, sided with the plaintiffs against Continental. It criticized the district court for wrongly leaning on the Hannington case, a prior legal precedent that had used the doctrine of apparent authority to enforce a settlement agreement, even without plaintiffs' approval. The appeals court held that the attorney had acted without the appropriate authority to settle, rendering the agreement unenforceable. The court clarified that a lawyer requires explicit permissioning from their client to settle any legal claims and cannot simply presume authority. In the final analysis, Covington v. Continental General Tire, Inc. resulted in the case being remanded back to the district court for additional proceedings reminding all parties about the indispensable need for clear communication and authority in legal representation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.